welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing a makeup tutorial. I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but I have a bunch of new products like this Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette um, and I really want to use it because I just bought it. I don't know what this look is going to entail, but we're just going to go ahead and get started and whatever becomes of this is what it becomes. So let's get started. <laughs> So I have a feeling that I'm gonna do a lot of skin prep in this video just because my, I don't know, my skin has been feeling really dull um, and not super hydrated. All right, I'm gonna actually mix two things together. This is the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. Um, also, excuse my nails, they have hair color all over them. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna use that and then I'm gonna mix in a little bit of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow. This is in the color Perla. Yeah. This isn't really like meant to be a primer, um, but I it's like a liquid face highlighter, but I like to mix these two together. I've done this a couple times and they work out really well. So all that is done, I'm gonna use one more like priming face product. This is Urban Decay's Quick Fix Hydrocharged Complexion Prep Priming Spray. Um, that's a lot of words. I got this from the Sephora VIB like 20% off thing. I just wanted to try it, um, which I think I'm gonna do a haul um, from what I got for the VIB sale. Um, I'm not sure yet, I'm still waiting on another order. Uh, but yeah, I might do that. So let's just spray this all over our face. Now for my foundation cocktail. I've been using these two, um, the Fenty Beauty uh, Pro Filter Foundation. I'm in the shade 230, and then I mix in a little bit of the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. I've been using this since like literally the first video on my channel. I go back and forth between it, it's that good, and it's like $6, so. I'm gonna do two pumps on the back of my hand of the Fenty Beauty, and then I'm just gonna do like a little dollop of the Maybelline. Oh, and I'm in the shade 125. In the Maybelline one. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be a little too dark. But that's okay. I'm gonna use my real techniques. <laughs> Sponge. Obviously, I didn't finish that. I have to work pretty fast with this foundation. Um, not with the Maybelline one, but the Fenty Beauty, because it dries down pretty quickly. Um, but I really like this foundation. Now I'm going to conceal with Tarte's Shape Tape in the shade Light Neutral. I'm actually going to not blend out my under eyes until the very last kind of like step. Um, I'm going to blend everything out first. I learned this trick from Jackie Ina. Um, she kind of lets her concealer bake under her eyes to get like the most coverage out of it and because Tarte Shape Tape is already like super um, blendable and creamy I don't have a problem blending it all out once it's like set a little bit and I can totally tell a difference when I do this I get so much more coverage out of my concealer under my eyes Um, I'm going to set my concealer and my whole face with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I used to be a hardcore stan for the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder, but I don't know. Lately, um, it's just not doing it for me. And this is such a loose powder, like so finely milled, that it's just, I don't know. It makes my under eyes look super airbrushed. I'm not saying that the Cody Airspun doesn't do that, but this just does a 10 times better job. And I like the coloring of this. I think this is in the shade Fair. But yeah, I'm just gonna set my under eyes, let them bake while I do my eye makeup. You know the drill. And if you're wondering why I heavily set the sides of my nose, it's because that's where I get the most oily and it kind of slims down the look of my nose. 
To prime my eyes, I'm going to use the MAC Pink Chili Paint Pot and the Zoeva Concealer Brush. I'm just gonna brush that on the eyes. Okay, now on to what we are here for. This palette. This amazing, beautiful palette. Amazing. Iconic. Um, let's open her up. <laughs> amazing color palette. Um, I am going to set my eyes with the color Amen. So let's do that and get that out of the way. I'm going to use my Real Techniques setting brush. Mm, okay. We got some pigment. This is definitely a very um, different color palette. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I want to do something colorful um, because I... I don't know it's just this palette is telling me to do something colorful obviously and I'm just loving this colors over here um, stigmata this color is that how you say that um, um that is kind of speaking to me and so is relic which I just dug my finger into <laughs> poor baby I'm sorry um, so I kind of want to do these two colors is that weird so what I'm gonna do, because there isn't too many transition colors, I'm just gonna take the color Martyr, um, and I'm gonna throw that in my crease. Let's see what happens. Okay, pigmentation is definitely there. I'm gonna take Stigmata on a Zoeva Soft Definer brush. I'm going to start on my outer V and then blend my way inwards. So. So now that I kind of have like a rough outline of where I'm putting some of these shadows, um, I'm going to use my finger to get the most pigmentation and I'm going to start on the outer corner. Yeah, I think I'm going to put this relic color in my inner corner. I think that would be so cool. Taking a MAC 224 and I'm just blending the edges some more. You can never blend enough. Now I want to start adding this relic color. This is like a super yellowy gold. I'm not going to wet my brush just yet because I want to see how this kind of performs without the help of like Fix Plus or something. So let's try this. Oh my god. It's beautiful. I love Oh my god, I love it. It's so pretty. So this is what I got so far, and that was um, the shade Relic without Fix Plus, but I'm going to spray my brush now because I really want to amp it up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I want to add some more definition in this area of the eye. So I'm going to take this random Anastasia double ended brush. I think this was in the modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to take this black, super black matte color in the palette called Sabbath. And I'm going to start putting it on the outer. I'm adding more of this red color stigmatic on the outer crease and blending it outwards just because I feel like some of it got lost when I started putting Sabbath on my outer corner. I still want it to be super red. I'm 
So I want to clean up some of the outer part of this eyeshadow just because I think I got it a little messy. I'm just going to pat some powder on the outer part and I'm just going to let it sit there for a little bit. So I'm going to let this sit. I'm going to do my brows off camera. Um, I'm planning on doing a, another brow tutorial because I do my brows a whole lot different now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do those off camera. going to powder the rest of my face and I will be back. So I'm done doing my brows after five years. We're going to do the lower lash line now. Um, I'm going to take this same Anastasia brush and the color Martyr that we used for our crease. I'm just going to put that right under here. Take Stigmata gonna blend that on top then I'm going to take the same pencil brush I used for the yellow in the outer corner and I'm gonna connect the lower lash line with the inner corner I don't think I'm gonna do lashes with this look I was contemplating it while I was doing my brows but I'm really not in lashes I kind of want the focus to be on the eyeshadow so I'm just gonna put a lot of mascara on on my top and bottom yeah I'm gonna curl my eyelashes with this forever 21 lash curler we don't use any other lash curlers these are the best and they're three dollars I don't even know if I just told you what I used for my top lashes. It was Maybelline Lash Sensational. That's really the only mascara that I use anyway um, for my top lashes. And the bottom ones, I'm going to use Mega Length from Wet n Wild. So I'm going to finish up the face using L'Oreal's True Match Powder um, in C8. Yes, this is a face powder, but I use it as a bronzer. So I'm going to bronze up my temples um, and like on my cheekbones, all that good stuff. I'm going right along my cheekbone, but I'm not really contouring, I'm more bronzing. For blush, I'm just gonna use a little bit of Milani's Luminoso and this Target angled brush. And I'm just gonna sweep that on the top of my cheeks and make my way back. Now for highlight, I'm going to use my favorite highlighter right now, the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in Mean Money and Hustla Baby. Um, I'm going to use Hustla Baby <laughs> um, and this Target highlighting brush. Looks exactly like the Anastasia A something. <laughs> um, it's meant for highlight. But I've been obsessed with this highlight. It's amazing. And I already put some on my brow bone after I did my brows. I'm gonna put some on my cupid's bow. Tip of my nose, on the bridge of my nose. And then right in this spot, right here, and then you blend it out. It makes you look super glowy. We're just gonna stick with this whole Kat Von D theme and I'm gonna use this new liquid lipstick that I um, bought. It's called Crucifix. It's like this red brown color. Um, let's hope that it goes with it. I know I definitely said that I wanted to keep the attention on the eyes with this look, but I couldn't resist this new lipstick that I had. It's definitely not everyday wearable. I mean, I would wear it in the daytime, but um, this isn't for everyone. And that's completely okay. And I don't remember if I said it or not, but this is Crucifix by Kat Von D, the slip color. So I really hope you liked this video. I enjoyed making it as always. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to call this look yet. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one, hopefully. <laughs> Bye.